Good evening, everyone. So first of all, I need to say a huge thank you to all of our campaign supporters, donors, and volunteers over these last very long 17 months of campaigning. There are far too many people to name, but I cannot thank you enough. Thank you especially to Tim Nelson, our campaign manager. <laughs> Uh, I just want to also say, a lot of you may know Tim, because after we lost the U.S. Senate primary in 2020, Tim turned around and with all of our social media accounts, raised over $10,000 for down-ballot candidates. So he is amazing, and you should all hire him. <laughs> I'd like to thank the rest of our staffers, Trey, Marshall, and Catherine. Thank you to my family, especially. So what's next? What's next? I'm very proud of what we accomplished moving the conversation forward in Polk County on criminal justice reform. Thanks to all of you and to everyone who supported this campaign. The challenging and very worthy work ahead is that of bringing meaningful positive change. Since the primary in June, I have had months of conversations, some of them lasting many hours, with many stakeholders, from immigrant, immigrant groups to victim advocates to folks in law enforcement, folks who work in the Polk County Attorney's Office, and other elected officials, and importantly, with the folks that we met knocking on thousands of doors in Polk County to win the primary. After all of these sometimes very deep conversations, I truly believe that it is possible to create the improvements to our justice system that we want to see, and we're going to do that. <clears throat> Make no mistake. The work will be difficult. It will take time. There will be a few sprint changes and many more marathon changes to make. And it will take the entire community's participation, not just mine. I cannot do this alone. We can only do it together. There will be obstacles and challenges not within our control but we will and we must keep working for that more perfect union that we continuously seek. I understand you have placed your trust in me to keep us as safe as I can and to create an equitable justice system. And I will work every day to be worthy of that trust. <clears throat> We started this campaign to end racial and income disparities in the justice system and create a healthy, safer, thriving Polk County. And so we will. I have one last thing to say for anyone out there, out there watching who needs to hear this. In early 2017, a gentleman gave a speech as he was leaving the presidency. And President Barack Obama said something to the effect of, if you don't like the way things are, pick up a clipboard and run for office yourself. I had never thought of running for office for one second in my life before I heard that. So if you have any inkling, if you don't like the way things are going, pick up a clipboard and run for office yourself. We need you. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good rest of the night. Thank you so much.